Major League Soccer has grown exponentially in the last 10 years, now reaching more fans around the world and drawing players from diverse countries. MLS is a top destination for many footballers, young and old. The MLS is now home to several African players, and today we count down the top 10 Africans playing in the MLS. At number 10 on our list is Montreal Impact's Dominique Oduro. The pacey striker has been playing his trade in MLS since 2006 and has found a home in North American soccer. Originally from Ghana, Oduro has played for seven different MLS teams. In his MLS tenure, Oduro has shown he is a very versatile player. Currently playing with Montreal Impact, Oduro has played well with the Canadian team. This season, Oduro has already notched four goals in ten matches and can play across the front line. Another Ghanaian is at number nine, and that is Lloyd Sam. Since arriving at New York Red Bulls in 2012, Sam has been ever-present, playing over a hundred times with the team. Playing mostly on the wing this season, Sam has tallied one goal and an assist for a Red Bull side that has gotten off to a very slow start. Despite only one call-up to the Ghanaian national team, Sam has proven he is a highly capable winger for the Red Bulls. Moving on to number eight, it's Kennedy Obananike. The Nigerian joined Chicago Fire in 2015 as one of the team's marquee players. However, Obananike struggled and so did the Fire. Seven goals and three assists in 31 matches was still a decent return as the Fire burned out with the worst record in the league. This season, Obananike has been steady as the Fire looked to improve. Already three goals in seven matches. Obana Nike looks like he is fitting better in this season for the fire. At number seven is Cameroonian Tony Chani. The strong tackling midfielder has found a home with the Columbus crew after having short spells with New York and Toronto early in his career. Chani has been with Columbus for four and a half seasons. In 77 games for this club, Chani has only scored three times. Yet, it is his defensive play that is so vital for Columbus. Averaging 1.8 tackles and 1.4 interceptions a game this season, Chani is one of the most underrated midfielders in MLS currently. Number six on the list is Vancouver Whitecaps, Kakuta Mene, still only 21. The Gambian has been a fixture in Vancouver's side since joining in 2013. A fixture on the left side of midfield, Mene is a skilled dribbler that loves to cut inside where he strikes a lethal shot. The only problem with Mene's current game, however, is his lack of assists. If he can improve this part of his game, Mene will be on to Europe before long. Coming in at number five is New England Revolution midfielder Gershon Coffey. Acquired by New England in the offseason, Coffey is one of the best tackling midfielders in MLS today. Averaging 2.7 tackles and three interceptions per match, Coffey is the protection every defense wants in front of them. In 10 games this season, Coffey has also added two assists. So far, his addition has really improved the Revolution's midfield. Now New England just need to find some scoring and the team will be set for a run at the top of the table. Ghanaian David Akem comes in at number four. The Chicago Fire forward took some time to settle in the Windy City, but since then, he has been electric. Injury has prevented Akem from playing much of a part in the Fire season this year. In two matches, Akem has tallied two goals and an assist. If Chicago can get him healthy, his goals will surely lead them up the table. At number three is Columbus Crew striker Kay Camera. The Sierra Leone international started his career in the MLS in 2006, but never truly found a home with a team until 2009 with Sporting KC. In 113 games, Camera tallied 38 goals as he found the form that had eluded him for much of his career. Camera spent 2013 and 2014 in England, playing for Norwich City and Middlesbrough respectively but returned to the U.S. in 2015 with Columbus. Last season, Camera was joint top scorer with 22 goals in 33 games. This season, the striker has scored five goals in nine matches for the crew and shows signs of being near the top of the goal scorer's chart again. Nigerian Fernando Adi comes in at number two. The Portland Timbers striker has been a valuable member since arriving in 2014. With 32 goals and 67 matches, Adi is key to the Timbers' attack. Last season, Adi helped the Timbers to the MLS Cup, defeating Columbus Crew in the Cup Final. Now, in 2016, Adi has already tallied seven goals in nine games. His play has been brilliant. 
and his inclusion in the side is vital for Portland to repeat as champions. Finally, our number one, Didier Drogba of the Montreal Impact. The Ivorian joined Montreal in the summer of 2015, and despite playing only 14 matches, Drogba tallied 12 goals. Drogba's play made many MLS defenses look amateur, and his physical play is something that many defenders have had difficulty with. This season, Montreal chose to play Drogba sparingly, preferring to save the 38-year-old's aging legs for matches later in the season. Despite this, Drogba has still tallied three goals in four matches, and the potential he brings to the side is immeasurable. He has once again proven he is ageless. These are our top 10 Africans in the MLS. Do you agree? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Oconee TV.